Tracky developer with a tutorial on how to send an email from your iPhone application using Xcode, Interface Builder, and the iOS Simulator. So let's get started with a new project. And we're going to create a view based application. Let's just name this email. So here's our application. Let me just make it bigger. And the first thing we have to do is we have to import the message UI framework into our project. So here we're going to go to email, add new existing frameworks, and scroll down until you see message UI framework, add it. And I'm just going to drag it into our frameworks folder. Now we'll go into your classes, look at email view controller, and we're going to import the message UI frameworks. And then here I'm going to say MF mail compose view controller delegate. And here I'm going to create an ID action called show kicker with an ID sender. And then I'm going to create a void method called display composer. That's it for the .h file, let's go to the .m file. I'm going to remove all this. And the first thing we have to do in the, in the .m file is we have to define our ID action called show picker. So ID action show picker ID sender. And here the code, basically what show picker is going to do is it's going to check if your firmware can support emailing functionalities because in the older firmwares a lot of the devices you, uh, you couldn't actually send emails from within your device you would actually have to go into the mail application to send the email uh, so you would basically create a link that says mail to, uh, mail to yeah and then you would load the mail app from there but here, um, after Apple did a couple of firmware upgrades, uh, we can now actually send mails, email, uh, we can actually send email natively within the device. So this is what it's going to check right now. So we're going to create a class, and let's call it mail class, equals ns, ns class from string, and we're just going to call this mf mail compose view controller. That up. Close up this parentheses. My bad. This should be up. There we go. Yeah. Close that up. And then we're going to create an if statement. If mail class doesn't equal new, then here we're going to check if the mail class, which is the MF mail compose view controller, if it can't send mail. So we're going to create another if statement. So if mail class, and then we're going to use the command can send mail. So basically this is saying if it can send mail, then it's going to display the composer sheet. So self display composer sheet. And we're going, to we're going to define that function later. And then create an else statement. So this is if it cannot send mail, then we're going to create a UI alert view. So if you've watched my UI alert view tutorial, this should all make sense. UI alert view. Oops, error. Let's just call it error. Equals. Let's allocate it. So UI alert view alloc. Init with title. Let's call it title can't send mail, the message is going to be emailing functionalities are not available on your device. The delegate is going to be self, cancel button title is going to be closed, and other button titles is going to be nil. And now we're going to show the error. And we're going to release it. 
And then here, I'm going to create another elf statement for the if male class doesn't equal nil. And this elf statement is going to say UI alert view error equals this. So just copy and paste that code. And that's all the code for the IB action show paper. Now, of course, we have to define display composer sheet. So define the void display composer sheet. And the code here is rather long and gruesome. Basically, this code is going to say what's going to be shown in our email by on default. So let's just jump right into it. MF mail view controller. Let's call this picker equals MF mail view controller allocate it and then init. We don't need to init with anything, just initiate it. And then picker dot mail composer delegate equals self because over here we defined the delegate in the dot h file right here. So afterwards, say ns, we're going to create an ns array, which is going to contain all of our information for the recipients of our file or of our email. So two recipients equals, we're going to create it, we're going to define this as an ns array, array with object. And let's say I want to send an email to example at example.com. And therefore, this would, this array knows to send it, the email to this example at example.com. Oops, wrote well, example wrong. Okay, now we're going to say picker set to recipients. So basically, we know this is asking who are we going to send this to on default. And we're going to send it to the, the function, the uh, variable that we created to recipients. To recipients which contains the example at example.com. Then we're going to say picker set subject. So this is going to be the subject of the email. Send test email. So if this works right, we should say send te test email as its subject. And then we want, we don't, we're going to leave the content message body of the um, email up to you. But if you wanted to set it, you could use picker set message body similar to that and is HTML, but I'm not going to do that. So just self present model view controller picker animated, yes. So basically this is going to show the email and then we want to release the course because we don't want it to stay in our memory when it's not needed. And we're going to release and then close. And then we're going to create another final void, void mail compose controller this all this code is correct it's automatically written for us so basically this code says if it finished and is was it successful was the email sent successfully and if the answer is yes then it'll dismiss the view controller that we just sent over here it'll dismiss that once the email is sent and do we want it to animate? Yes. And that's it. Now this is all the code. So now if I build and run, it should work. Oh, hang on. Resources. Navigate to your resources before you build and run. Go to email view controller .xib. And as you can see, here's our blank view. And if you want to navigate to files owner, we see we have show picker, this received action. So we are going to let me just create a very simple navigation only based application. So let's just make this contact us. And for fun, let's try again. And let's just try again a tab bar, shall we? Now I know the tab bar doesn't work right now, but just for fun. 
So let's say we have a tab bar, and this is one of our pages on our app, and it has contact us. So I'm going to create a text view, or drag in a text view. And let's just say, center it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us with the button below. And let's set the background color to be clear. And format it a bit better. Oh, that's good. And now we're going to create a really, really big button. So, round rectangle button, let's just make this a huge button. And it's going to say, contact us. You can change the font to be a bit bigger. We change the button to be a bit bigger. I'm not sure how. I'm sure you can do it. And then I'm just going to go into our connections, Bob's owner, show picker, and link it up, touch up inside like always. Save and close. So now it's building, as you can see, it's building a simulator. It's pre compiling, linking, installing. Here's our app. And as you can see, here's our screen, which is one of the pages of our application. It says contact us. If you want to contact us, please press this button. So it's to contact us. And as you can see, this sends it automatically to example at example.com, subject to said test email. There's no body, but they automatically give the default sent from my iPhone. I've always we've seen that before. Canceling, you can choose to say to delete your draft. Let's do delete. And let's say I just want to send this, so send. And then as you see after it sends, we because we said the dismiss model view controller animated, uh, after it sends, the screen will automatically close. No, this doesn't work, obviously, because it didn't define the view controller. But as you can see, this all works perfectly. Now, if you're testing this in simulator, it act actually will not send the email. So to test if the email really sends, which it should, then you can use your actual iPhone if you have the developer uh, license. So that's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helped you out a lot. Uh, if you have any questions with this code or would like to learn how to extend it, for example, add in attachments or anything, uh, you can request another tutorial in the comments. And please subscribe, rate this video. And yeah, you guys have a good day, and I'm out.